Hello YouTube and welcome to another short tax loss video. The three free trial months of Apple Music are nearly over and a lot of people are asking how can I cancel my subscription before I have to pay for using the service. Uh, a lot of people are switching back to Spotify, Deezer or they are not using music streaming anymore. So this video is just about how to cancel your subscription. You can do this on any iOS device that you got Apple Play, Apple Music app on them or on any device that you're running iTunes, so um, on any device that you're listening to Apple Music. Here on the iPhone you just open up the Apple Music app and in the upper left corner you see an icon uh, and, and uh, you face an avatar. You just open it up and then you head over to Apple ID, show Apple ID. Then it can be that you have to enter your Apple ID password or you just uh, will go into your Apple ID account. And then you can see your Apple iTunes match subscription down here, but that's not what you want. You want to go into subscription, edit, and there you can see your Apple Music subscription. It's active, head over into the subscription and then there you can see if you do not have yet cancelled then you should see here a green bar where it says uh, automatically renew the subscription. Deactivate it, make it so that there is no green icon anymore to see and you are done. You can see when your uh, free three months are ending and that's it. After this you can always come back and get a single user subscription or the, you get the whole family pack uh, no questions asked but uh, that's pretty much it this is how to cancel on an iOS device on a device with iTunes it's the same you head over into your settings account settings you scroll all the way down until you you see your subscriptions go into the subscriptions and then search for your Apple Play subscription and cancel the auto renewal and this it. So overall Apple Music is nice if you are liking Beats okay but from the normal stuff that they have there's no difference at all from, from Spotify, Deezer and all Google Play Music All Access and all the stuff. They all got different artists. Apple got Taylor Swift, the other don't and all the stuff and uh, but from the normal things you could listening to and ear, uh, audiobooks and all the stuff it doesn't matter. But I definitely don't like the recommendations Apple is giving me. Playlists are horrible, the whole thing of using the Apple Music, no. They just released a couple of uh, instruction video editorials, uh, tutorials how to use Apple, Play, mu Apple, Apple Music. And I mean, you can't release this after three months when the service is already is out. You have to show them uh, when you're starting with the service. This is only one of a couple of things that, that I don't like about Apple and Apple Music here. And another thing that's bothering me, a lot of people that have already cancelled are getting push notifications from the Apple Music app. Your Apple Music membership expires soon, renew now. And this is clearly an advertisement to spend money for this ad or for an ad. And this is advertisement via push notification. And this is not allowed. Apple does not allow this within their rules of the App Store. And I think this is not nice of them because other apps getting banned, getting removed from the, from the App Store because of such push notifications. And Apple is just doing it uh, themselves, so no. So this is it. This is how to cancel your Apple Music subscription. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.